Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. That one's emptied out, so I'll bring him down over here and stop him just down there. We've got this one that we want to move over to this side. And just get going. I'm going to just do a pass along the top, I think. And then hopefully just have the hired help dealing with the rest of it. Okay, I grossly misjudged that. Uh, yeah, I'll just set the hired help going up there. And then we'll shunt those trailers out of the way a minute. And then we can carry on with um, various other bits. Let's do that. And away you go. And then, right, this one up here. Yeah, I'm on a new recording session, which is why that tractor up there is sort of stopped halfway through doing nothing. He's just gone out to the end of the row and then... Um, he was in the process of turning when I left the game last week. So we'll go to there, and then we'll go back to this one here, and I'll spin him round, and then start him off again. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring him up over here, and I'm going to start him on this side. I'm going to put him over here, and set him going down that edge of the field right there. So off you, off you trot. You go and do that. Yeah, a bit of overlap there, but I don't think that really matters. You carry on doing that, and then you are doing this field here. Let me just stop you right there for a second, because there is a huge chunk that we have missed over this side. And let me whiz round like that and set that one going. What a waste of fertilizer. Look at that. What an absolute appalling waste of fertilizer right there. And around the corner like that. And then you go up across the field and then it's just going to be that one little bit up through the middle. There's one thing that I do need to do a minute. Let me just change this over to uh, reflect the correct currency. There we go, and let's, well, I was gonna, just going to start this one. I'll tell you what, we'll start driving with this one down towards the restaurant, and as soon as I get message that uh, we're complete on that other job, we'll switch back to him quickly, and we'll get the cultivator onto that one and get it going with the cultivator, and then um, we can hopefully rush on with our planting. We've got to get corn in the ground. Now, corn is the least profitable out of all of the crops that we do. We know that corn is going to be the least profitable. We already know that. It's just kind of an established thing, and it's not really a, a major, major issue. But it does mean that we're going to be getting less money for our work for the next harvest. I mean, after that, we're gonna we're attempting root crop. We're attempting potatoes the first time through. Uh, a lot of requests for potatoes. I know that there are some people um, who've supported the channel quite a lot in the background and have done quite a bit who are quite keen on potatoes. So potatoes will be the first one. I don't really like the idea of just stopping on the road. So I'm going to pull in here onto the slightly... Um, more uneven ground right there and then we will do the changeover so let's go and take this one back this way it's a little tiny bit they always miss a little tiny bit I wish they wouldn't right we've dealt with a little tiny bit so I'll bring you back around here like this and I will put you in the shed quick sharp like this we'll bring you back I'm gonna put this one straight into the big field rather than into the smaller fields uh, so lower that one down and leave it there and then hook on this cultivator over here and get that one underway and then uh, yeah I'll do a couple of passes along this bottom end we'll go and do a couple of passes along the top end and then this one can just be left running in the field right here we don't need to concern ourselves with it and the other tractor when that one finishes will come back down and start working on this smaller field so if I bring you in over here like this, I'm going to do twice maybe. Do we want to do twice? You need to go further back. Why it has to do it like that. Right, we go like that. There, now. 
Off you go. Go along there. Uh, just wondering if I should stay here and... You know what? I'm just going to go up to... Yeah, you're fine. You, you can stay where you are. I'm just going to jump up to this one a minute. And I'm going to try very hard to keep an eye on the speed on the side. So I can see... Pretty sure it's the third one down. He's doing his turning at the moment. He's just now gone up to a 19, 20, 22k. 24k. He's, he's whizzing across the field at 24k. And there's another one that's turning round. And then he's back up to 24k. So he's also whizzing across the field. So both of them are cultivating a line at the moment. One of them is about to come to the end of a line and want to travel the other direction on the field and i tell you what I'm just gonna slow down right here because they both come to the end of the field so go to you over here you're the one that I'm after you've turned around and you've gone back again that's good and so then I'm gonna go up this side I go right there send you off down to the end of the field and I'm gonna go straight back to Wait, wait, there. I'm going to go straight back to this tractor. I'm going to carry on, and now I'll keep an eye on the speed, and it's the top speed that I want to be looking at. Out of those two, two that's saying 24 right now, it's the top one that I want to be keeping an eye on. And as soon as that one changes, well, I think it's the top one. Might not be. Oh, no, 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 don't stop in front of me. No! Oh! Uh, that was... I can't, st I literally can't stop. Why would you break in front of me like that? Seriously. Right, I'm, you're not, I'm, I'm going over here. You, excellent. Right, you, you, you've got to the end of the field. That's, that's all I really wanted at this point. I can't believe that car just stopped in front of me like that. That was, that, that was like a serious accident waiting to happen, that was. That, that was potentially very, very bad news for everybody involved. And we'll drop you down. Why aren't you going? I lowered you down. Just go already. I lowered you down. I engaged the hired help. The hired help just looked at it and said, Yeah, I can't be bothered with this. And that was that was it. That's, that's all we had out of it. I have to turn in manually at the other end of the field here. And... Yeah, because he's, he's going to get muddled up on this bit here as well, isn't he? So we, we'll just turn him manually. But I do I want an extra line across here. We could actually do two passes yet. So if I bring him over like that. And then we'll get that grain being sold. So if I bring you over like that. And then put you to that point right there. You do not have access to this land. Peasant, this is not yours. Be gone! Right. Here we have the site of the accident. Things could have gone horribly wrong right there. Very horribly wrong. I mean, yeah, I probably was driving a little bit too quickly down the hill, admittedly, um, for something like that. I, I, I probably should have been going a little bit more steadily down that hill in order to uh, safely be able to... You've got to be able to stop in time, haven't you? Like it's, it's quite important that you are able to stop in time. See how much money we get from this one a minute. 81,880. Not too shabby. So that gives us enough money to go and buy another solar panel. And then... Right, hang on. Let me go back to you right here. Excellent. That's perfect. So we've done three passes. So now I can swivel you around and start you working on the field just here. And then we can get the other tractor back and get that one started on planting. And then after we've done that, I'll then worry about buying the other solar panel. So I just need to get that one back here to the yard. Let me go there like that. And... Off you trot. Okay, so you stay there, and you're almost done, which is brilliant. Get down to you. 
And then off we will go here. So we will go roaring off up the road. Up this way. And then we can get it... Um, we can get this one planting again. Uh, we'll be able to hook up the new planters. Get that corn going into the ground. There'll be three tractors will be running in the field at the same time. And... Uh, once the cultivating is finished, we can get the second planter going in behind as well. Which is not going to take very long at this rate. Like, we seem to be doing quite well. I did make a mistake on the last lot of planting, which was pointed out in a, um, a couple of the videos. A few people commenting um, said, why didn't I use the new planters, the, the, the row crop planters, for planting the beans? Because you can use either planter to plant beans. Um, and I went and used the small ones. And yeah, I know the direct seeding, it meant that I only had to do the one job. But they're also, they're, they are quite narrow, aren't they, those direct seeders? So we want some better direct seeders. Now, I have been told a few times that there is a Vardestad um, direct seeder in the, um, in the mod hub that apparently does fertilizer as well as seed. So that's a definite possibility. I still haven't, I, I, I forget all about it until I've actually got into the game and started playing again. So, um, yeah, I, I, I need to do something about that. I, I will see if I can actually remember to get it right this time. Let's go on up round. Um, so, we've got the planters there. They're all ready. We've got... Cultivating is well underway now. We've got... Well, yeah, it's, it, it, it's going very, very nicely. We've got three solar panels lined up over there, and we're about to get a fourth one. That's going to be going up there as well. We should, I'm hoping, like, with the amount of stuff that we've got here, with the, the solar panels and everything all in place, I'm hoping that we will actually be able to get the um, potato equipment. Like, if we can at least buy one potato planter for ourselves, we may not be able to buy all the potato, uh, buy two, but I'd like, ideally we want two, but I may not be able to, I might be able to buy one potato planter, and then, uh, well, af after that, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but, um, see, soybeans, I could have planted those right here, sugar beet, no, cotton, no, canola, canola, ah, Corn. That's the one that I'm after. Right there, I want to be planting corn. So I'm going to bring you out here, and I'm going to unhitch you there, and then we're going to spin round. Now, we've spread fertilizer, then we cultivated... Actually, i got a feeling that this has got um, fertilizer on top. But no, no, I don't think it has. I mean, if we go and have a look in here, there... We've got one layer of fertilizer on there. We can get rid of those because they don't affect anything. So there's one layer of fertilizer on. I'll go back in here and hook that bad boy on like that. Then we fold it like this. There, and that's now ready for planting. So I'm going to manually plant the outside round on this one. Like that, and I'm only going to do, I'm just going to do a little strip a minute. Because I want to see, there, let me just stop there a minute. Yes, it is giving us our second coat of fertilizer, which means that once this is done, we don't need to worry about anything until we start harvesting the corn that we're planting now. So we can bring that up like that, and then go on round. It's quite a wide machine, this one. Because of all the extra sort of gubbins along the edge of it, where the um, where you got a the, the, the hitch and everything for picking it up sideways on, I really like the way that it does the sideways on hitch on this one. I think it's a really really good system because uh, like the others, they all got to fold up, but it sort of gives the impression that there could actually be a lot. You know, there's there's more moving parts, there's more stuff that could potentially get broken. Whereas this one, you just got a hitch that folds away on one end of the machine and it seems a lot simpler and less likely to have things that could go wrong with it and that's that's what i like about it, it it's a it's it's a simple system 
And at the same time, it keeps everything quite sort of narrow and focused as well. It seems very much designed for the European market, where we've got a lot of narrow roads, narrow gateways, and, um, you know, it's, it's not easy to travel around a lot of the roads, in certainly here in the UK. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of Europe has got roads similar. So you need machines that can get as compact as possible. And whilst you've got, you know, all these machines that they fold up and it, it does look really good, they don't necessarily fold up particularly compact. They still stick out the sides of the tractor by a surprising long way, whereas this one doesn't. When this one's in its transport position, it's no wider than the tractor itself, and that's quite an important feature for anyone that's wanting to travel along narrow roads. That is a rather important detail that uh, would definitely come into play when trying to decide what machine you're going to get to add to your... Uh, fleet on the farm. Right, we want to go to you up here. You have now finished this one, so we can fold you up like that. This one here is, it folds up fairly narrow as well. It's, it's again, it's about the same width as a tractor. There are cultivators that do fold up that are quite a bit wider than the tractor, and you will notice that kind of the I mean small machinery is fine but the mid the very large machinery again that's going to be completely different but the mid-range machinery tends to come in two distinct categories category one is stuff that doesn't fold up very compactly at all and seems designed for the US Canadian market um, where I think actually you kind of class them as small over there rather than what we would class them here, which would be definitely a mid-range type machine. Uh, but, you know, it's it's quite interesting to see that the there's um, you got one category of machine that really doesn't look like any attention has been made to how small it folds up. Like, the compactness of it while small and able to travel up the road doesn't seem to be any kind of consideration whatsoever in the design it's like that bit doesn't really matter whereas other machines that seems to be one of the principal keys of design like that planter that we've got over there like that one is designed clearly to be as narrow as possible when folded and to be honest, for here, where, well, where I live in the UK, I've worked in other parts of the UK where the roads are considerably bigger and you would have plenty of room for getting, well, they do have plenty of room for getting around with some quite large machinery. Um, but where I live, you need things that can be compact. It's got to be compact because otherwise you ain't driving it down that road, sunshine. And it's not like we've got... Uh, we, we have hedges, we call them hedges, but these hedges are stone walls, granite stone walls on the bottom half, and then you have a hedgerow that's planted on top of it. So it's not like you've got a few shrubs that bend out of the way if your machine is trying to squeeze past. No, you've got solid and rather unforgiving lumps of granite all the way down the side of your um, road and if you go rubbing it with the coulters on a seed drill or the discs on a harrow like this one or something like that it's gonna be granite one machinery nil i can promise you that that, that those hedgerows are, are, are rather robust and that they're not going to even break into a sweat at the thought of something like this brushing up against them it's it's not going to affect them in the slightest it will affect your machinery so you want machinery that can easily get through there and you're not going to be brushing it up against granite hedgerows um i mean yeah the part of cornwall is slate and so you have the same hedgerows but made of slate it's still stone it's stone everywhere we have copious quantities of stone that's why all of our houses are made of stone and all of the hedgerows as well are made of stone. There are areas in other parts of the West Country where stone doesn't seem to be in quite so much abundance as it is here where I live. And so you have earth banks and then hedgerows planted on top. 
And those can be a little more forgiving, but you still don't really want to be scraping along them with any of your machinery. It's not like it's just a few bushes that are being pushed out of the way. You know, those possibly you get you get away with a bit more. But still, you, you, yeah, if, if you're touching the bushes, then chances are when you come to any gateways that you need to get through, you're going to be touching the gateposts as well. And that's generally frowned upon, isn't it? Right. You carry on down through there, and we will go back over to this one. I only needed, really, to do one more pass along here, and I could have left the hired help to just finish off this little field. So I will do that now. We just run him along there like that. And... There. Right. I will go to that point right there. I will set the hired help going. And it's going to just finish out this little tiny field here a minute. We're doing a grand job with this. It's just got another couple of passes and then that one will be done. And then we can run this tractor and sea drill up to the top field. And start planting up there. And then we can have a look at buying ourselves our next solar panel. There's going to be four of them lined up across there. Um, because I'm a little bit ahead on the recordings at the moment. I've not yet had feedback from people about whether you think I should get ten solar panels. Or just stick with the four. Uh, the five that I was going to do along there originally. Um, so at the moment, I'm just going to aim for the five. I mean, I don't think we'll be in a position to buy... We certainly won't be in a position to buy any more than five at the moment. Uh, not until I've had feedback from asking about that. So I'm, I'm just going to go with the five and then I'll see what people want. Because that one... I've genuinely got no idea which way you're going to go with that. Like, sometimes I can sort of make a fairly educated guess based on previous experience on what I think you're going to want with the series and how I think you're going to want things to go. And I know most of you say for this, I should not bother with asking too many questions and just play however I fancy playing and just roll with it. And for the most part, that is what I'm doing. But there's a few little things like, you know, the solar panels that I'm quite happy to ask. Because it's, it's basically little bits of gameplay where I'm happy to go either way with it. I'm, I'm happy to do it um, with the five. I'm also happy to do it with ten solar panels on there and, you know, have a really big boost of the income. There was one thing that I thought that I was going to do, and oh, I've already done it. So, we do want to pay that back down to 200,000, because I did kind of originally say that I wanted to go with just the limit that we had in FS13. Um, I have since doubled that limit, uh, then stuck there quite firmly, because I've been spending other money. But, yeah, I'm still sort of thinking along the lines of I'd like to eventually go back to that point. So that I am just spending... I'm just borrowing the 200000 at least for the moment. Uh, let's drop you down there and send you whizzing up across the field. So we'll watch this one to go up here. And then I will do another pass along the top end of the field up there. And then we'll send it down that side. I think this seed drill does actually go over that rough patch over there without any problems. So we should just be able to set it going down there and then leave it. The two fields down the bottom, one of those will be finished fairly soon, which means that we can get the second seed drill running. And that's most of the planting done then. You know, once, once we sort of finish up here, and yes, I know with the amount of money that I've gone and spent on those solar panels, I could have already gotten more land, which... I know it would be a really good one, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of thinking that I would prefer to, at the moment, go with the solar panels because it's a little bit more of a regular income. Um, having it every hour on the hour is it's, it's quite nice. I like I like having it as that regular in, an income. It, it, it sort of seems a, a little bit better. All right, let's whizzle you on round here. Whizzle is 
absolutely a word. Don't question me on it. It is, is absolutely a word. And we'll put you there. And then another hop, skip, and a whoosh. And we go racing off up here. So it's just a bit up there. It's like right in front of that bit of um, stone that sticks out right there up where the tractor is. That's the roughest part of it. And that's where we're likely to have a piece that will be missed if there's going to be any. And there was nothing missed at all. Right, that's fantastic. You carry on and do that, and we'll come down here. So you've got this little strip here, and that one's got that strip over there, and we want a solar panel. There is our solar panel, 150,000 euros. We bring that bad boy out over here. Let's speed this up a little bit, shall we? Right, and I want you to be placed... About there, isn't it? Now, I don't think it matters which direction he's facing when he's placed down. I think he will end up sort of facing the same way. I think it tracks the sun. The first day, it may not. But I think eventually he will end up tracking the sun. So I've got one there. And then the final one will need to be put here. So I'm going to want to get rid of that tree, which is something that we will do. Now, if I am going to get some more, what I'll do with those is I'll stagger them back over here. So I'll go one, two, three, four, and possibly the fifth one will be down here. Sort of six here, and then one, two, three, four in the middle or something like that. Or just put them back here. I, I don't quite know, but we'll, we'll do something like that. Um, and stagger them back a little tiny bit from the front line there. Uh, but that tree there is going to need to go out of the way. So there is our next solar panel all done and placed. 150,000 in construction costs. We've got 50,000 euros left. And I'm thinking that I'm just going to let this tractor here get up to the end of the field. And then I'm going to... You know what? I'm not... Yeah, yeah I am. I'm going to let it... We, we, we go at a fair pace. I'm going to let this one run to the end of the field. And then I'm going to stop that. I'm going to get the seed drill hooked on straight away. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Better idea. Go to you. Ignore that. You carry on over here. We're going to fold you up. I'm going to put this one going straight away with the seed drill. And put this one onto the big field. And then the other tractor can finish doing all the cultivating across both the fields. So we'll bring you in like that. And then I'll put you back into the sheds. Yeah, the other one can do the cultivating across both of the fields. And this one can crack on with getting the planting done. Because otherwise we're going to have both tractors finish the cultivating at about the same time. And then one of them's going to be sat around doing nothing while we wait for the other one to finish doing the planting. So let's get you out of the shed. We want to change that seed over cotton, canola, corn, like that. And then change it over around here like this. Love this. I really do. Bring you back in there and hook that one on like that. Fold it. And now we've got our corn planter ready and raring to go. So I've got a tractor that is in that field right there, just planting out the last of it. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And for those of you wondering, the paid promotion notification that came up at the beginning of the video is because in the description down below, you will find a link to Fanatical. I have an affiliation with them. If you use that link, I will earn a small commission on anything that you choose to purchase. But that is all we have got time for. So if you have enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.